Hey creators, it's Gabby from Mindjoy. And in this tutorial, we'll be puzzling out how to code our name in the stars. So in this project, you'll be using a variety of methods and a lot of problem solving. So to get started, let's set up our project. All right, to get started, let's set up our project. So in this project, we'll be spelling our name in the stars or drawing our name in the stars using all the direction commands and turning commands that we've learned so far. And we're going to have some fun with color too. All right, so let's set up our project. First things first, we're going to head over to our file tree and we're going to create a setup py. And we're going to copy this code snippet into our setup py. And if we want to just make sure that we've got our Python turtle graphics module um, all set up, we can just double check. So we're just going to go into the main py and say from setup import and then hit run. Excellent, time for challenge one. So we're going to just um, head over to line one and I'm just gonna comment this code and hit enter because I'm gonna use that later. So over here, I'm going to copy this code snippet, hit run and a color wheel is appears and this is really cool because we're going to be selecting colors to code each letter of our name. So I'm going to pick a color for each letter of my name. So my name, for example, is Gabby. So I'm going to start with a G. And I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to do some comments to help me uh, start thinking about all the things I want to do. So. And I want each letter to be different. So I'm going to go over here and try and grab some colors. And I think, hmm, you know, you can really use any color you like. But I'm going to go ahead and select some colors. So you might notice I clicked over here in the purple area, but it didn't say purple. It gave me this hex code. So our hex code expresses the amount of green, red, and blue in the color. The reason why we'd use a hex code rather than just a color name is that we can be very, very specific about the exact shade of or tone of color that we'd like to use. All right, so I've got my first color. I'm just gonna borrow this um, code. I'm gonna put it there and I'm gonna say this was like my, just to help me remember my purpley, my purplish letter. And I'm going for purple for Gabby. So I'm gonna borrow this code, a, a darker blue. I can take that, same for later. And I'm gonna have a light blue. Now that I've selected a color for each of my letters, I'm going to head on to challenge two. In challenge two, it says I can get rid of this. So if I wanted to, I can just comment it or delete it. And then I'm going to um, uncomment line two so that I get back to my total graphics window. I want to figure out how to code um, the first letter G. So this is a little bit tricky because each of us have our own letters, so and there's no right or wrong way as to how to do this. So you can go about this any way you'd like. It's really more about having fun and puzzling out the challenge. Another thing I might do is, if I'm having a hard time trying to imagine this, I could head over to my files again, and I could start a plan.draw file. Now, in Reflet, there's this nifty little um, draw file, which can help you sort of plan things or draw flow charts or all kinds of um, handy things. So if I think about writing the letter G, I go, I can draw it like this, possibly sort of something like that. Um, I could also try and get the curves, something like that. So I'm going to start off by coding my letter G. And really what that means is I'm going to be doing a lot of trial and error and trying to figure out how do I code um, and sequence my commands so that I get my letter G. Um, and you can use the go to or the set post um, command to set the position of your turtle. Um, and that determines where you'd like it to start drawing from. So for example, I've set the position here to 
negative 120 to 140 and I think that will be somewhere around here because I want my letter to draw G over here and so I'm going to set position all right then I want to determine my pen color and I'm going to use the hex code that I got for my pinkish color um, and then I also want to set my pen size so the width that my letter will be I like five that's a good suggestion excellent once I've got get once my pen gets to the position I want it to go down and then I'm going to start drawing and then I'm going to try and use a sequence of commands to try and figure out how to for why we're worried <laughs> how to write out my let the letter of my name so I can always go back to my to my drawing that I had set um, where I'd started sort of planning my letter I can always go back to that and see um, forward to try that and every now and then I'm gonna run my code just to see what it's looking like and to see if I'm getting somewhere ha huh. there we go that's the start of a G possibly start there and work that way around would be better hmm interesting what is this current position you know we could even set it like that so we could go a hundred and zero so you could maybe possibly go set position to a hundred and zero and then we would just sort of change the sequence of this we'd go forward 10 sort of the reverse left 90 is it left or right it's right now going in the opposite direction because we turn from the perspective of the turtle then we go forward 30 and then right is it right 90 yes right 90 okay, and then forward 30 let's see what that does there we go awesome all right and then yeah I'm gonna take the suggestion right 90 I'm going to go forward, maybe, oh, no capitals, forward, mm, maybe double, let's see what that looks like, wow, okay, maybe a little, maybe this will be a 32. And what happens if I change my pen size to 10? Just out of interest. That's quite cool. I'm happy with that. And then I want to go right 90. And forward. Forward. Hmm. My forward would be the same as this, which was 30. Let's see if that makes our G. Ah, I'm pretty happy with that. That looks pretty good to me. Why don't you pause here and see if you can puzzle out how to code the letters of your name. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I finished coding my name. How did your project go? So here's my code and you can take a look at that. Um, my letters, I've coded each letter, given each one a different color. But now I want to add some magic. I'd like to change the background color. Um, there are two ways I can do this. So I'm going to head over to my setup. Um, or I can do it in my main PY. It's really up to me. I'm going to go here and I'm going to go back. I can go background color. And I can say, for example, black if I'd like. I might just want a simple background. 
um, let's see, and not be white because it looks really cool on the dark background. Yeah, so cool. Or I could try something else. I'm going to leave this here because I'm not sure. I'm going to try background picture. And as you can remember, we've used this before. We've changed our background. So here are a bunch of cool galaxy images. And I can choose one of these to code my name in the stars. So I'm going to try stars two or three because I'm a little bit undecided. So I'm going to go with stars one dot png because i've got to specify my file type let's see what that looks like oh dear so remember it's very sensitive to case so you got to make sure i've got a little bug i didn't um, use my okay that's stars one and try stars two Whoa. Oh, if I think I think I like stars three. And for my projects, what, what that means is I'm, I'm going to go back and, and change a couple of my letters. Um, I'm going to change that last one to... to uh, I, now I'm not sure, so I can just try this little handy trick again where I comment and uncomment my code um, so I can get the color picker back. And... Okay, I'm going to go with a greenish hex code. I'm just going to ignore this for now. Um, I'm just going to, just a quick little hack. Um, so I've got my hex code. I'm going to go back to this. I'm going to quickly change it. Oh, I'm going to have to stop it and run it again. And I'm changing this in my comment too to blue, green. That's better. We also have a really handy little cheat sheet here. And these, this is just a refresher of some commands you might use that might help you puzzle out this project. You can also head over to the library for a full um, list of functions that, or methods that you might want to try. All right, reflection time. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, you know what to do. So now that you know this little handy little comment, uncomment trick, you can also try that. Um, to import your quiz. And there you have it, coding our name in the stars.